So, Sheriff, I don't think that uh, A.L. is able to, you know, change his bad behavior. I think he's narcissistic. I think that he is a demon. I think he tried to infil infiltrate my life. Um, he used nefarious tactics and behaviors to get access to my life. Uh, he tried to befriend my manager, my makeup artist. Um, he even tried to reach out to my mom, and I, I don't trust uh, that that demon. Anything that she want to say, mama? I don't do the ghetto. I, I told Melody I, I just wouldn't be able. I wouldn't be able to be around such a demon. He has such a demonic spirit. Well, if you feel that the boy is that bad, if you feel that the boy is that bad, I just, you know, I, you just got to stay away from him. You know, he just is a demonic entity that, you know, you just want to stay away from. I don't understand why Stormy still is, and I mean still, S-T-E-A-L. I just don't get why Stormy still would be out here giving that boy all types of cash apps, knowing, knowing how he did Mel, knowing how he did Kiki. He befriended them and and, and weaponized their words against them and just threw them out to the wolves. Uh, he betrayed them and, and the boy didn't care. He just couldn't, he couldn't care about anybody's feelings but his own. Like, I don't understand why anybody would trust such a demon. Once you see the patterns of behavior from these demons, you gotta, you gotta leave them alone. Oh, ab absolutely, Sheriff. I, I don't have no contact with that demon. He remind me so much of my ex, Martel. Absolutely. What is up, y'all? It's your girl, brand new. And, honey, I am back in the building. Listen, listen. This time, honey, I am back. Uh, we will be talking about... um. You know, uh, AL and why, why I don't feel like he will change. Uh, recently he has came out and apologized to Queen Sheba and I, like many of you, cause I think it, child, you all voted and 98% of you said that y'all don't think he's sorry. Y'all don't think he will change his bad behavior. Um, he had recently uh, put some information out there about Queen Sheba trying to speak bad about Stormy's business. And then um, he also, we'll say allegedly, got some information about Queen Sheba and um, her information, you know, her um, address and yeah, uh, it's been alleged that Stormy has shared this information with him. And a lot of us is just wondering why Stormy would have anything to do with him after seeing how he did Melody and Kiki. Because he baited Kiki in and acted like they was so cool and then threw her ass out there to the wolves. And it's like, girl, Melody was trying to tell you, hell, I think she tried to show you. Because when she did that video, I will never forget it. She dragged his ass and put his ass out there on Front Street and said he was trying to get real close close with all her business associates even her mama honey okay and then was trying to get with the makeup artist and honey it was given obsessed it, it was given um what mariah carey honey said to j-lo i don't know that heifer it was given uh yolanda the lady that um unalive selena honey it just was given a lot of that type of energy honey and you know somebody um like AL should not be trusted, okay? But, honey, it is better to be awakened by a painful truth than lulled to sleep by a seductive lie. Shout out to Mr. Dr. Phil McGraw. 
Um, I told y'all Dr. Phil um, did a book about Vader's um, in his book, uh, Life Code. This is one of my favorite books um, by Dr. Phil and just in life, period, because he wrote it to a T. Okay? He wrote it to a T to, you know, discuss the bad people in the world. Okay? So first off, what is a baiter? A baiter is a backstabber. B is for backstabber. A is for abuser. I is for imposter. T is for taker. E is for exploiter. Okay, we've seen that type of behavior with the recording conversations. Um, ooh, child, I would hate to be one of his exes, but he probably didn't record it stuff. We noticed that on his channel, he always threatens to put somebody out there to embarrass them. Um, and R is for reckless, right? So how do we refer to these people who cheat, exploit, use, and abuse? I think of them as baiters for people who are backstabbers, abusers, imposters, takers, exploiters, and reckless. If someone is deliberately causing you pain or harm or putting you at risk or wantonly disregarding your well-being, that person is most certainly a baiter. So, baiters are people that see the world through a lens of arrogant entitlement and frequently treat people as targets. And that is what, you know, he did to Melody. He came off, and a lot of people will do this, they will come off as being friendly, as being a fan. Um, oh, they love you so much. You know, you really can do no wrong in, in their book. And then as soon as y'all fall out... Um, you know, they are speaking ill on your name as if they have never known you, as if they have never liked you. Um, and I've noticed, um, even other content creators, and don't get me wrong, people have the right to not like Melody, but I find it weird that all of a sudden, oh, she need to get over how uh, Martell cheated on her. She just won't let it go. But we've seen content creators interview Mel and say that they are happy she got out of that burning house. And what y'all got to remember what Melody is, it's not like, oh, she was able to divorce Martell and go back to her normal life. Life has not been normal. She's been back and forth, you know, to the courts. Like, that will do something to your psyche, you know? Baiters, if they find an angle to get ahead, they will do it and do it right over the top of you. Another baiter would be Ariane Curry. Okay? Look at how um she ruined Melody's life, was sleeping with her husband. It says, if a home wrecker wants your husband to herself, you're the problem she has to overcome. Yeah, these people, they will want your husband. And look at Latifa over there copying and pasting Mel's ideas, her identity. But she called Melody the post queen. And another evil and malicious thing that goes right over people's heads is that Tisha season one, she's so nice, nasty, right? She is everything that she accused Melody of being. For the Holtz what was it, 10th anniversary, I forgot the number, you guys, so correct me if I'm wrong, but for their anniversary, right, shouldn't you be positive towards your friend's anniversary, and, you know, just wishing them well, and, you know, just, just blessing their marriage, right, you take them to dinner, you make them feel good, this is what Latifa just did, she brought up the cheating, Uh uh-huh, she brought all of that up, Something that hurt and nearly destroyed Melody. She brought that up during that woman's anniversary. Who does that? A baiter, not somebody that's your friend. Friends don't do stuff like that because they would know, oh, that had really hurt her. But a baiter, they like, yeah. And I've had people do it with me. Yeah, I know that that hurt her. Yeah, um, 
I will weaponize your vulnerabilities and your pain. That's what they do. And they do it in such a slick and sly way. They they can do it without being confrontational. And then if the minute you react to it, look at you. See, see, see. Look how you acting. You they start gaslighting you, right? Trying to get you up out of character. But you got to recognize these wolves in sheep's clothing. Another thing they do is they deny, dismiss, and project any of like their bad behavior. They'll put all of that off on you. If you notice with Latifa, she lacks self-awareness. She lacks accountability and responsibility for her bad behavior. It's always somebody else's fault. It's Mel's fault. It's Kimmy's fault. It's somebody else's fault other than hers. And she doesn't take accountability. None of these people do because they are ashamed of themselves, but they don't want you to see it. They don't want you to acknowledge it, right? And then some people will say, if they're so ashamed, why won't they change? Because of the the shame, like they can't admit that they have a problem. They can't admit they don't love themselves. They're not happy in life. Okay. Another way, you know, you're dealing with a beta is they lack empathy. As soon as Latifa brought that up to Melody, did she care? No. Did she care about her anniversary to Martell? No. She didn't give a damn. She threw the fact that he, what, brought the side chick a a Benz or something, threw that in Melody's face, threw it in Melody's face at the Galentine's event. Uh, Yeah, you, uh, your husband cheated and had a baby on you and you still stayed and, you you know, you don't throw all, if you were ever somebody's friend, when the hell do you do some shit like that? Y'all got to look at that. That'd be a hater the whole time. If somebody ends up being a backstabbing friend, they was hating the whole time because people don't just turn like that. It was always there. And I know I've had it happen to me. They are incapable of feeling remorse or guilt and don't learn from situation to situation. How do they do the things they do because they pursue pure gratification without fear of consequence or without the burden of conscience same thing with al he goes person to person there's no self-awareness saying hey i'm wrong hey i shouldn't try to befriend um this person's friend just so i can you know be sneaky and 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 be devious and get into this person's life. See, when he was trying to befriend all of uh, Mel's confidants, when he was trying to do that, he was trying to come up off of Mel. He built his audience, his YouTube audience, off of Melody's supporters. So a lot of these people, they try to get close to you so they can use you and your influence. Ask me how I know. I've had it happen to me. They do not have the capacity to feel bad about what they have done. Okay, think about it. If you never get a signal from your brain that says stop, then why would why would you stop? It's because that person lacks empathy. They have no conscience. Same thing with Martell. He was able to cheat and lie on Mel for all these years. Okay, lied to that woman. Okay, took her heart and stomped on it. Had a baby. Okay, with the side chick to finally finish Mel off. Yeah, I'll show that bitch. I'll show her something for leaving me. He wanted to cheat in peace. He didn't want Melody to feel bad about that. He didn't care that he was trying to ruin Mel's self-esteem. He saw that Mel was a so-called strong woman. She's strong. She could take it. That's why I tell y'all ninjas out here, it's not a badge of honor to call a woman a strong woman because what y'all try to do is you try to put more on a woman because you feel like she's strong. She can handle it. She can handle it. Okay? It's like you're being punished for your greatness. Okay? But yeah, even after um, the marriage, what did he do? Had her in and out the courts. Yeah, I'm going to punish this bitch. She going she to regret leaving me. 
because I'm supposed to be able to cheat and have a side chick and have another baby on the side, okay? I'm, I'm supposed to be able to do that. And after all, she stayed this long. And there are a lot of people that see it like that. When really Melody had cognitive dissonance, she's like, damn, this is the man that I love. I, I took vows with this man. I, I don't want to just ab abandon my marriage, right? So, yeah, she's being blamed for being abused. Victim People do a lot of victim blaming. Okay? Imagine somebody abusing you, then you get blamed for the abuse. It's your fault. You just didn't up and leave. A lot of this stuff is subtle at first. I'm pretty sure before Martell started cheating, he was doing other little sneaky stuff to try to make her jealous, to try to get her in her feelings. Um, remember, he took her money and then recorded her going around um, on a rampage, right? In that video, put it out there for the world to see. Why? Why would he do that? To damage and destroy her character, her reputation, to make her look bad. I know I've had family members. As soon as I put a boundary up, as soon as I tell they uh, ass no, Okay, it's, oh, we'll spread rumors about her. We will change other people's opinions about how they see her. Yeah, because she didn't give us what we wanted. And we're, so, we're entitled. We're supposed to get what we want. After all, we're related. I had one of them come up to me and say, we first cousins. And I had to tell her I don't give a fuck about that. Okay, in life, have common sense. Care about the people that care about you. If you don't hear from somebody, what does that tell you? They don't care for you like that. You're not a good person. And that particular family member did a lot of backstabbing things. I'm not going to get off into it, but I saw uh, her hand a long time ago. And, and God said, no, girl, you got to go, girl. Absolutely. <laughs> but, yeah, these people are crazy. Okay, look at Kiki. Melody tried to help Kiki out. She get over there with AL, you know, revealing certain scenes in the show. And and it's just like, why would y'all do this? You know, Tisha already a hater. You got Stormy coming over here doing business now with AL. After you've seen how he did Kiki, you've seen how he has did certain content creators. He's a part of certain lawsuits. You've just seen all the negativity that this man has displayed, and you still over there sending him cash apps. Something ain't clean, baby, in the buttermilk. Uh, the baiter uh, appears to be witty, witty and charming, but it's all subterfuge. Okay? Uh, another sign you dealing with a baiter, they are irresponsible, self-destructive, and disregard the well-beings of others. Yeah, they, they don't, they don't care how they treat people. They thrive off of drama and crisis. Okay? They thrive off of drama and crisis. Why do you think AL is always trying to attach himself to Love and Marriage Huntsville, put himself in a thumbnail? Why do you think all of a sudden he got Ariane, the girl that's a side chick on the bench? Um, he got her in front instead of Mel because I have a hatred for you. You, you revealed who I was. These people do not like when you reveal and expose them. They don't like that. They think they should be able to disrespect you in peace. They should be able to just dog and try to destroy you, okay? And, you know, you ain't supposed to say nothing. Um, these people also will brag about outsmarting other people, Okay, they will brag. I even heard him on his channel. What did he say? Yeah, I got so much information. And if they ain't got storylines for next season, I think he was talking about this season. Um, I got some because I got so much stuff. Yeah, he was building up files probably on everybody. Who does that? Okay, somebody that does not love themselves. Um, somebody that's obsessed with the show, obsessed with the main character of the show, somebody that's using um, those things for ammunition. 
yeah, on Mad Day, I'll expose it and I'll put that person out there. These people also have a pattern of short-term relationships because they are hollow inside. They live in a world of fantasy marked by delusion. Okay? They see themselves as victims in some exalted status, but always in a manner that justifies and motivates their, their self-serving. There's that word, agenda. They are like method actors who live the delusion as though it's reality. Okay? It also says they are frauds. They cheat. That's Martel Hook-Headed Hope. They may steal property information. They will take credit for other people's work. Don't I know about that one? Had somebody stealing my ideas and claim false competencies to gain trust and reliance. Okay? Lies and gossip about others are their favorite tools. And when in a position of power and authority, they abuse it with a self-dealing and ego maniac conduct. And A.L., he over there mad that they won't say his name. That's what he want. He want recognition for the stuff that he started on this show. But he he upset with Carlos, I could tell, because they're not saying his name. They ID your uh, sensitivities and hot buttons to gain leverage. Ain't that what Latifah did to Melody? Melody, the one, what does she say? Melody is the one that told her certain stuff about Martell. So why would you throw that back up in her face and then want to get mad and play the victim later on when she bring your damn cousin on the show? The cousin that you didn't even want to be on the show because you don't want nobody to outshine you. Okay, using Kiki's... um addiction issues as her identity okay that's how abusive latifa is but because she's not super loud about it she's starting to get a little louder but because she's you know she's a wolf in sheep's clothing it just goes right over people's heads because people expect for um, bad people to be just really in your face. Look at how her husband moved. He don't move like that. Everything is a joke. Everything. He will crack a joke at somebody's expense. Okay? And he doesn't care. They are two-faced. They spread lies and gossip, pretending to be your friend and ally to give you a false sense of security, all while being disloyal. Okay? Okay? And because they are paranoid, they have to get you before you get them. They are masters of passive-aggressive sabotage. Child? Mm -mm -mm. A true friend wouldn't lie to you, cheat on you, or steal from you. No, they wouldn't. They wouldn't do that. So that right there, you guys, it explains why AL will never change. You know, this is simply a pattern of behavior for him. He he does this person to person, okay? So he will keep doing that. That's why none of us uh, believed that, you know, we didn't believe the apology that he gave to Queen Sheba, we didn't believe it. A lot of people were saying he just don't want to get caught up in the lawsuit. I I believe that. Yeah, he don't want to get caught up with that. But yeah. So why would you do something, you know, why would you treat Melody like that after seeing how her ex-husband did her? Vicious. Child. He a nasty piece of work. But so is Latifah. Martell, a lot of them on that show, they just ain't no good, you guys. So, y'all look out for the baiters in your world. All right, and that's all I got to say about that, honey. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I am your girl, brand new, and I will check you guys out in the next video.